it is a I feel privileged to share this bias as a scientist and also I would like to appreciate the Yashoda team members for organizing this kind of the very important uh, of an interactive section which is uh, on the auspicious day of uh, World Health uh, Day initiated by the WHO. I would like to take five minutes to share some of my views on this subject. The drug resistance is on the rise. Microbes have adapted themselves to survive in the presence of drug therapy, which in fact it is a process not alone but a natural and evolutionary phenomenon. For the past decades, all concerns have worked tirelessly to increase access to novel drugs in developing countries, particularly for malaria, HIV, tuberculosis and other infectious diseases. The welcome efforts have saved many lives and improved the quality of life, but it had its own repercussions increasing drug resistance. Many antimicrobials either have lost or quickly are losing their effectiveness, resulting in profound long-term health and economic consequences. Drug resistance TB is spreading rapidly to countries where it has not been seen earlier. Frequent muta mutations of HIV imply that all patients on antiretroviral therapy will eventually need to use second and third line of drugs. Even some of the newest and most effective antimalarial drugs are HIV, antibacterial and antibiotic drugs like the third generation of these drugs are already showing signs of lower efficacy. The common drivers of drug resistance across diseases are a mix of bug mutation, behavior that leads to inappropriate use of medicines, 